Today in our 2014 Jeep Wrangler, we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Roadmaster Stoplight Switch Kit, part number RM-751452. This is what you're going to get in your kit. Power wire, this is the wire that's going to be going from the switch to your brake, supplemental braking system that's going to be inside the vehicle. This is your brake switch, the bracket that's going to hold it, and you also get a star bit. I'm sorry, a star washer, and then a nut. Now, the reason I'm showing you this now is because it's kind of hard to see in there. Uh, you'll probably be able to see after I get it in, but I'm gonna explain how this works now. What happens is, on the inside, underneath the panel here, you have a brake switch. On the top of that brake switch, there's a bracket. On the top of the brake switch, there is a bolt. On top of the bracket, above the brake switch, you're going to remove that bolt. This is going to go in. The brake switch is going to fit right here. And then this is going to mount like this. Star washer. What this is going to do with your supplemental braking system that's going to sit right here. When the brakes are applied from your RV, it's going to apply the brakes in here. And what that's going to do is this switch is going to be on. When the brakes are applied, it's basically going to turn this switch off and it's going to show you in your RV that the brakes are being applied in your vehicle that's being towed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move this panel right here. Then I'm going to take a 10 millimeter socket, remove these two bolts, and remove this plate here. We'll just lift up on the plate. It's got two little arms that fit down inside these holes. So this is your brake switch. And right up here above it on the bracket is the bolt. We're gonna remove that bolt, put our plate in place, and then replace the bolt. We'll use a 5 16 socket. The bolt that I removed is gonna go through this top hole here. This is going to fit around your brake switch. Let me get it installed real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. So here we have our bracket installed. You see this bottom hole here. When you adjust the bracket, you want to adjust it to where that hole is lined up with your brake pedal arm. You want to see the brake pedal arm in the center of that hole. So as you can see, this is the wire that comes in our kit. Now, it's not going to be long enough to go from your brake switch, which is down, you got to go inside the firewall, down your brake, out across over to the battery. I have some extra red wire laying around. I'm going to splice the two ends together, which is going to give me the right length to go from my brake switch out through the firewall to my battery. First thing I'm going to do is I'll splice one in. Add a butt connector. Splice the other one. Put in the other end of the butt connector. Down. Make sure you got a good fit. Now, since this is going to be underneath the hood, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wrap it with some electrical tape. This individual has some extra stuff, and these blue wires I found run through that grommet. So, I just followed, pushed my air tube through that grommet. Now we'll go inside the vehicle and see if we can see it on the floorboard. You can see this is where the tube came out, right behind this large bracket that has all the factory wiring on it. So I'm just gonna pull this until I get my wire. Now you're gonna have a green wire and then your power wire that we just ran through. Power wire is gonna go to the positive side of the battery. 
green wire is going to go to your braking system that's going to be inside here. It's not, it doesn't matter which side you hook up to. You hook the green up to one side, red up to the other. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take our supplied blue buck connectors. Put it on one side of the black wire, or a black wire on one side of the switch. I'm going to take the other blue butt connector and put it on the other side. Next, we're going to take green wire, we're going to hook it up to one side of our switch. Trim it down, and the other one is going to be for our power wire. Trim it down. Now, even though these are going to live inside the vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and wrap them with some electrical tape. We have our brake switch installed here. It's on the bottom of our bracket. Now, if you can see the arm. What this is gonna do is when the brakes are applied, you'll see the plunger come out. That's gonna let whoever is pulling the vehicle with their RV know that the brakes are being applied in this vehicle. Once the brakes are taken off, it pushes that plunger back in and deactivates the switch. When you put your switch in, you wanna make sure that you don't have it pushed out on this bar, on the brake pedal bar, so much that it activates your brake lights and your your lights are staying on. What you want to do is have your brake in a normal position. Go ahead and take your switch, put it in through the bracket, push it into where the plunger is depressed into the switch itself, and then take the nut that's on there, go ahead and tighten it to the back side or the front side of that plate. And then you're gonna have somebody push on the brake and then you can put on that star washer and the nut on the back side. And that's gonna be your distance. Is we're gonna splice this in of the black wire, this end of our green wire. We're gonna take one of our included buck connectors. It's gonna be the blue one. And then we're just going to put these two wires together. Once you got a good connection, we'll go ahead and wrap that with some electrical tape. Now with this other end, since this is going to be connecting directly into our six pole, we're gonna cut this off. And we're gonna feed it through our grommet. Then we ran all of our other wiring through here. Once you get it through the grommet, you can follow your existing wiring to connect your six way. Make sure to avoid any moving parts or sources of heat. We will then take our wire and connect it to the spot marked with an A for auxiliary and then tighten the screw for a good connection. This is a good time to connect the rest of your wiring you may have for your flat toe setup. I'm going to pull my excess wire back up through and I don't want to pull on hard, just enough where it's tight. So I'm going to take my wire that I pulled out and I'll go ahead and stretch it over there to my battery side. Now you're going to have an option to either run a fuse tap or a fuse to the battery. It's up to you. Both of them come in the kit so you can choose what you want to do. I'm going to use the one that's going to the battery itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to splice the two ends. I'm 
Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a heat shrink butt connector. Now these don't come included in your kit, but you can find them on our website. Crimp that down. And on this other side, we're going to take a ring terminal that does come in our kit. Crimp it down. I'm going to take my other end that has my heat shrink on it. And I'm going to attach it to my power wire that's going to my brake switch. Now, the reason I switch to a heat shrink is because it's going to be outside the vehicle. Now I'm going to take a heat gun. Heat it up. Let it cool down for just a second. Now we'll wrap it with some electrical tape. and that's going to go right to our battery. Next, we'll take a 10 millimeter socket. Go ahead and remove this nut here. Put our ring terminal in place, and then replace the nut. Once you have it hooked up to your battery, Go ahead and put your 10 amp fuse that comes included in your kit into the holder. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wire here, kind of clean it up, and I'm going to start zip tying it to this existing wire that's running along the back here. So next we'll go ahead and put our stuff back together. This plate in first. And that'll do it for the Roadmaster Stoplight Switch Kit, part number RM 751 452 on our 2014 Jeep Wrangler.